Hello and thank you for joining me in today's video. My name is Davis and I'm going to be talking to you today about the importance of record keeping in business. Now, this is not just limited to small businesses. If you're a small business, uh, a not-for-profit or even a social enterprise, this applies to you. I'm just going to talk to you about why it is important for you to keep records of the transactions that happen in your business. First of all, you must understand that financial records is the most important and best decision-making tool known to business. Businesses of all shapes, sizes, and forms in all industries all prioritize, you know, keeping proper financial records. And a lot of businesses today are even going beyond financial records and they are mining data from all places just in order for them to get deep business insights. That should tell you something, right? You know, there's a saying that I love that says, if you want to be like the big boys, you have to act like the big boys. If you want your business to grow to the level of the big companies that you see today, Apple, Amazon, and the rest of the big companies we celebrate today, you need to begin to adopt the practices that those businesses have adopted, right? And one of the most basic business practices that you can adopt, if you want your business to be structured, if you want your business to be, to be a growing one, and if you want your business to accomplish its objective, is to keep financial records. Now, how is this done? It's a very simple process, right? You must understand that the very the fundamental element in a business is transactions, right? A business is a collection of transactions. Uh, this could be transactions between you and your customers, you and your suppliers, you and your investors, you know, but everything is all built on transactions. Now, transactions essentially is the exchange of value. So uh, you exchange value for money or money for value, whichever the case. I'll give you an example. If I was selling this marker to my customer, this marker represents something of value to my customer, right? So I give this marker to my customer and my customer gives me money in return, right? So a transaction has happened. But how do we know that that transaction happened? How do other people, other stakeholders know that that transaction happened? You know, there's just it just happened between the customer and the salesperson. If there are no records of that transaction, then nobody will know that it happened. So as a result of that, every single transaction has some form of records that you need to keep in order to reflect that that transaction actually did happen right so for instance when you do a sale transaction you have to record what is called an invoice when you do uh, an expense transaction you spent money on something you need to uh, get the receipt for that expense or the invoice for that expense or or you need to raise a an expense voucher within your organization to show that that expense happened so for every type of transaction that you can engage in in business there is a document a source document is what we call it in accounting there is a source document that you can use to record that transaction and once you record that transaction what you have done is you have begun the process of data collection the accumulation of all the source documents that you've kept all the records and data of transaction that you've kept the accumulation of it all organizing it is what the discipline of accounting focuses on you know and then when you accumulate it and organize it then it comes out in forms of financial report and then you can analyze the financial report to understand the trends and the events that are happening in your business or around your business or that could affect your business so that you as the business decision maker can adjust accordingly and make the right decisions that will help you grow your business now that is the reason why you must always keep proper financial records in your business.